Hello and welcome back to another video from Jebra Camper Vans. Now today I'm going to give you a little update on our midge screens. I'm going to give you a full tutorial on how to fit them both to the T6.1, T5 and T6 windows. I'll also show you exactly how to tell if you've got genuine Volkswagen windows because our midge screens only fit genuine windows. So let's jump into the tutorial. When you get your midge screen it'll come in this lovely little Jebra Camper Vans bag and you just want to pop it out and there you've got this tough, durable midge mesh. They are sided, so one side is long and one side is short, and that's just so they fit on the windows. Now, the first thing you want to do is just open up the windows. I'm in a T6.1 just now, so I'll jump in and do that. So on a T6.1, you'll see I've got the window open and I've got the long side on the bottom and the top and the short side on the sides. And what you basically want to do is, I'll pull the window a bit closer to me, you'll see that when the window's open, there's a nice little gap just in between the sliding part of the window and the fixed part. And all I'm going to do is feed it in from the top, like so. And I'm just going to slide the midge screen into that gap, lock it in. And then I'm going to push it up tight, slide it back towards me this way, because it locks in on this side of the window too. And there you have it. You've got open window with your midge screen. None of those creepy crawlies can get into your van. Now what you want to do to take it out, very simple, just push it back, pop it out and pull it away. And it's as simple as that. Now our midge screen for the T6.1 only fits the T6.1. Our midge screen for the T5 will fit the T5, the T5.1 and the T6 genuine windows. So let's go fit that one now. So we're inside a T6 now and it's worth noting that both our T6 and T6.1 mid screens all look the same on the website, so they're all kind of the same picture. They all come in the nice little Gerba bag. It's just the size of the mid screen that's different. So if you are on the website and you are looking to purchase one of our mid screens, just make sure you've got the right one for your van. Now, we'll do this T6, T5, T5.1 mid screen from the inside, just so you can get a sort of idea what that looks like. And it's really just the same thing. All you want to do is open up the window all the way. Now we're on the reverse, so you'll see that the gap that we slide the screen into is on this side. And I'll just get my screen out of my bag here. And again, one side is longer than the other. So what you want to do, and you'll see that we've got the Wallace hob and the worktop in this one, so it makes it a little bit more difficult. But basically, you want to, you want to slide it in behind the window, just like so and slide it back into place and there you go and you can see that we've locked it into this little window catch here so it can't go anywhere none of those bugs can get in and loads of fresh air and like i mentioned we can close the window almost all the way to any point so you've just got a little bit of airflow coming in out of the van and i'll just open it all the way back up there we are perfect if you want the midge screen, you can get them directly from the Gerber Camper Van shop, which will be linked below. All of the shipping information is on the webpage. Now, they are £50 each, and £5 of that goes to a charity called Malaria No More that we've been working with for a lot of years now. They're a really great charity, and you can read all about them on the product description page. So now, the very important part, how do you know if you've got genuine Volkswagen windows? Well, let's jump out this van, and I'll show you exactly how you can tell. There are really two main ways to tell if you've got genuine Volkswagen windows or not. They're both really quite simple. The first one is when we're looking at windows, we're looking to see if the sliding part of the window and the fixed part of the window are flush. So on most aftermarket windows, they actually recess in the way and you'll see that the window sits back from this fixed part here. So if we see that straight away, we know that you don't have a genuine window. And then the other thing that we're looking for is on the window somewhere, usually in the corners here and here, there will be a Volkswagen emblem. So you'll see the little Volkswagen logo. What I'll do is I'll bring you in closer and see if we can see that. Now, it's incredibly difficult to see, but you will maybe just make out here, we've got Volkswagen, then we've got a little bit of information about the window, a serial number, that kind of thing. That is absolute confirmation that this is a genuine Volkswagen window. If you don't have any Volkswagen emblems or information like this anywhere on your van, then it's likely that you don't have a Volkswagen window. But you may have one, and this may have been rubbed off at some point, or you may have had some sort of third-party blackout put on there. 
So you can't see that. Just double check and make sure the two parts of the window are flush. Thanks again for tuning in to another video from Gerba Camper Vans. Now, if you are unsure about your windows and if they are genuine Volkswagen windows, don't be afraid to reach out to us. Send us a couple of pictures of your windows. We'll be able to tell you straight away. And like I said before, you can grab the mid screens in the link below. It takes you straight to the shop or if you're on the Gerba Camper Vans website, you'll see a link for the shop there and you can order direct online. Thanks again for watching. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more of these types of videos and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.